Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to announce that we have cleared the last major hurdle to making the QEG self-sustain while providing additional power. After months of intensive work under very difficult conditions, we have now just open sourced the final piece of information that QEGs around the world will need to finish the machine. This information is found on our website and on the BDU.com website under the title QEG Tuning and Technical Update Parts 1, 2, and 3 and QEG Theory of Operation. This is to be used in conjunction with the third additional manual which can also be found on our website. The innovations that can be applied to this prototype going forward are numerous. In staying with the true co-development nature of this endeavor, we are leaving these further innovations up to the creative expression of the engineers and inventors that are working on the QEG. To describe this new and last piece of information, it is a step-by-step -step detailed procedure for tuning the machine to enable the QEG to self-sustain with additional power output. Again, we state, this is what the engineers have been waiting for. It is open sourced and it is freely given as a gift to the world. This also confirms that the QEG as shown to the world by WITS is, an, is a working device and all instructions received by James from WITS he now has been able to verify. This will bring some great changes to the QEG project as presented by the Fix the World organization that we feel are important to highlight. The original ten intent of the project was to build a free energy prototype generator that was scaled large enough to power an average home and to develop a set of instructions that would allow others to replicate the device and give them away for free on the internet. Our family alone has put over two years of non-stop tireless work into this project. We have generated thousands of pages of instructional and informational content for the project. We have produced many hours of video instruction for this project, and we have built five QEGs and their surrounding workshops from the ground up. This past week, all of the QEG engineering teams around the world were given these instructions so that they could complete their devices. We have also set up the proper infrastructure for automated additional learning and distribution through our QEG ebook and a 10 week online video course. In addition, <clears throat> we have been raising funds to help get all of this material translated into 10 different languages. To the best of our ability and with great personal difficulty of our own, we have been able to deliver that which we set out to do. With this final piece, we are now closing the public project of the QEG. As far as the Fix the World QEG family team is concerned, any further innovations for the QEG and its development will be conducted in a privatized manner. Those who have been following our progress with the QEG for any length of time will know that from the initial launch to now, all of the funding for the project has come from you, the people through several crowdfunding campaigns and donations. The use of workspaces, test equipment, and instrumentation that we employed at the various builds was also donated. The $80,000 raised for this project was what made it possible for us to accomplish this great work. When you consider the funding amounts for other crowdfunding projects, like $350,000 for a new coffee maker, or 11 million raised for a new cell phone, we ourselves are astounded at what we have been able to accomplish. What you also need to know is that this project has taken almost everything we had. We lost our home, had to move several times um, this past year, and lost most of the equipment that we need to have the kind of operational lab we need to do this work. We hope that all of you can understand that this vital piece of the project has been brought to you at a great personal sacrifice. We are now looking for humanitarian benefactors. We are looking for truth philanthropists who can help. 
It's time we put people before technology. After being on this road for two years, we have seen and heard many things. Too often, we come across investors that are only interested in the technology and care nothing about the people that are building the technology. It's time we realize that there is a living human being that is building these devices, and that person needs food, shelter, basic needs, and decent tools to do the job. This not only goes for my family, but for all the inventors out there that have been struggling and working to build a better future for all of us. For those who wish to contribute to a greater cause that can directly affect and change the lives of millions of people all over the planet, we need your help. As an organization, we have the ability to bring cheap or free electric power to people in need. And we also have many other projects that involve bringing clean water, healthy food, and ending poverty in all areas of the world. These projects will not only help people and save lives, but they will give people the opportunity they need to generate their own sustainable income and boost the economy around them. We have held on to the plans for these 60 projects for close to three years, and we need the proper funding to implement them. The following is how to contact us and how you can help right now. We anticipate a large influx of response to this announcement. Please note that at this time we cannot possibly answer every email or Facebook comment. We simply do not have the time or research resources to do so. However, we have spent a great deal of time setting up the proper channels to help those with questions. All of this information can be found on our website, fixtheworld.org, on our blog, hopegirl2012.wordpress.com, and on the bedo.com website. For people who are new to this project, we have created a one-page PDF that gives all of the necessary document, documentation and video links for the entire project. We have an extensive FAQs page on our website that has just been updated that should answer most of the questions that we get. For technical questions, James Robitaille will be available for consultation sessions via Skype and is also available to travel on location to build a QEG. If you would like to schedule a session with James, please contact him through the consultation form on our website. We have been translating the QEG material into different languages and still have seven more languages that we need funding in order to translate. If you want to contribute to this cause, please visit our QEG Rosetta Stone campaign. And if you would like to help us get a head start on the foundation of the Fix the World organization, which includes a full lab for further QEG development, please visit our Fix the World campaign. You can also support us by becoming a member of the Fix the World organization, which gives you a special access to an array of amazing shows and our monthly newsletter. You can sign up at a monthly amount of $6.99 a month or $75 for the entire year. And as always, we accept one-time or monthly recurring donations in any amount. We also want to remind everyone that our organization practices the alchemy of giving and we donate 10% of all of our proceeds to Kiva to help people help themselves and graduate out of poverty. To date, we have funded 35 different groups through Kiva in 2015 alone, and when you help us, we help others. So, what does this mean for all of us? We have taken old knowledge of natural energy production, knowledge that has been suppressed for over a hundred years and we have made it known and accessible. But knowledge and action are two very different things. We cannot control, nor do we wish to control, what people will do with this. We can only hope that others will pick up the torch that my family has been bearing for these past two years and carry it on further than we ever could. The QEG and its unique form of energy production, along with other similar devices, can and will change the paradigm of our world. But changes of this kind do not happen overnight. They happen over a period of time, and in some cases, 
over a period of generations. New beginnings are a very delicate matter. We have published a lot of material on the opposing forces that we have fought against. Along with the release of this information, we have also included a full disclosure report titled The Underbelly of the QEG Project. This contains some of the negative aspects of what our family has been up against during the entire course of this project. We thought that it was important to release all the information, including the negative aspects, to give everyone a balanced perspective of what it takes to bring something like this project over the finish line. If you look at the work we have done, the hours of effort and the level of quality that we have put into this, then the work will speak for itself. James not only spends hours, but sometimes weeks, writing up these technical updates to ensure that the information is as complete and accurate as it possibly can be. And he only publishes information on experiments and findings that he does personally because he can only trust his own research. I can tell you that the last two years have been a real challenge for us, and we, face, we have faced many great pains, losses, and betrayals. But one thing I am forever grateful for is the bold obviousness with which, with which our family has received protection. I give thanks to God that we have made it through and that we still have each other and our integrity. Many people have died doing what we have done, and we are all still alive. If you are a rigid skeptic, then I will tell you that this project is not for you. This project is for the bold dreamer, the outside-of-the-box thinker, and the open-minded adventuring enthusiast. Those that have done the work on the QEG will be able to implement the updated plans. The skeptics, trolls, and debunkers will continue to make claims that the QEG is a scam, even while people are successfully utilizing the technology in their homes. I'd like to remind us all that the Wrights brothers were flying around in their airplanes for four years while the skeptics stood on the ground looking at them saying that's impossible. For people who believed in us and supported us and who were unwavering in their faith and dedication to this breakthrough, today is your day. If you've been waiting, now is the time to start building. Get involved, take action, and help spread this gift across the planet. We have done everything that we can to get this to you. Right now, it is in your hands. We have done this great feat so that the work of Nikola Tesla was not done in vain. We now pass this torch on to you and ask you all sincerely to use it to help your families and your communities. We have opened the door. It's now up to all of you to walk through it. It has been an honor to serve all of you in this amazing endeavor. Thank you all for your love and support. Now let's all go out there and build our brave new future together. Thank you. <laughs>